Welcome to the Automate Construction Podcast. We're joined today by Angel Yavero Lopez de Vialta, the CEO of Meltio, an innovative uh, 3D printing company that prints in metal with a very impressive density, too, of metal, uh, changing the way that people think of production of custom objects and different designs that weren't really capable in the past. Thank you so much, Angel, for joining me today. Thank you. For, uh, thank you to you, Janet. And I wanted to start with what made it obvious to you you needed to start this company? Okay. Uh, the first is thank you very much for the opportunity to present the, the company. Uh, of course. The, the company is the is because uh, we we have the other uh, additive manufacturing company from 15 years ago. Okay. And we had the opportunity to create the joint venture between one American company, Aditec, and our, my other company is the uh, Sinova here in Spain, because it's the one very, very important company in the style steel, is the ArcelorMittal, identify very good new technology with patent in Aditec. And this company, Invite, is the Aditec and Sinova, is the meet both part, okay? And the re final result is they create the joint venture here in Spain. When you started that partnership, how long ago was that? And what was the initial goal? Was there one specific part you wanted to produce that there was a challenge and you needed to find a new way to build it? Or why did you need to... I know that you have a robotic arm with a... Or actually, you use all kinds of different systems. You use you retrofit CNC machines. You retrofit robotic arms with the, the print engine. Uh, so that initial partnership, was that to develop the print engine specifically? Yes, uh, the, the challenge more important uh, when we start the, the activity is because this technology, this patent, is the gift the opportunity is the, to develop the new technology, is the super A or solve it, the more important limitation that the metal additive manufacturing had in the last 20 years. In the last mm -hmm. 20 years, the metal additive manufacturing sector in general is the war with uh, powder, metal powder, and uh, one laser is the lot power, okay? In the 20, uh, 2019, when we uh, started the activity, okay, is for us, it was very, very important to create the one new technology is the had the capacity to work with the wire, metal wire, okay, multi-laser, okay, and very, very important, superate the different limitations, for example, in the rest of the technology, when you want to manufacture big part, it's very, very difficult to have the limitation for the hardware or mm -hmm. have this limitation in the price because it's very expensive. In our case, okay, we can use the, is the integration of our technology with one robot, for example. And the limitation no is the technology, it's the, the site of the robot or the robot site. Okay? Similar thing is the when hybrid system. Our technology, we can integrate with the tooling machine, with the CNC, and we can have this the hybrid system. And uh, Meltio, uh, in, the, in the market, they are similar situation, or similar product, but yeah. the product is very, very expensive, okay? And for us, it's very important, is the democratization, the metal additive manufacturing, the democratization for the price, democratization because we can manufacture different parts with more uh, free, complex geometry, okay? And very, very important for us is the user experience. It's not necessary with our technology. It's the, the ramp pad, a seat, the ramp pad. It's the, 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 the know-how necessary for to work with the technology, but it's very important for us. It's the it day. It's more easy, it's easier to use the, the technology. And our challenge is the all operator of the one factory can to manufacture with our technology. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I like how you compare it to democratization because it really is removing the need for a huge factory to produce a metal part and having one smaller machine that can produce a huge variety of different metal parts. Uh, it's very cool. So right now, are most of your customers in Spain or international? Okay. Uh, our company, f uh, from the first step, is to create the joint venture, okay? The headquarter is the uh, installed here in Spain. Okay, in mm -hmm. Spain, we have the factory, the R&D department, engineering department, uh, factory, uh, technical support, uh, sales, marketing, all is here. 
Two, we had other facility in United States and other facility in India. Our way, we say that for us is very, very important when we develop the product is that we think in local. Because for us, it's very important to have the maximum control possible in the all supplier, okay? is the 80% of the our supplier is the less of the 200, 300 kilometers from of our uh, factory. But mm -hmm. in the in the cell strategy, always is global, okay? From the first step, is global. We want to sell. In this moment, we are selling our product in across is the uh, 35, 40 different country, okay? Uh, of course, is the very, very important is that to have the vision, international vision, okay, for to sell the product. And it's very, very important for us is to have the control in the process of the design the product and manufacture the product. And when someone buys the engine from you, are they also buying your service to help them attach it to whatever type of robot they want to use? <coughs> yes, of course. Uh, in our challenge, uh, in, in our channel, sorry, we have is the three figure. We have the reseller, okay, and we have the integrator for robotic and integrator for tool imaging. When one customer or final customer buy to us the one system, okay, always is the one member of the our channel, integrator for robotic, integrator for tool imaging, okay, is the responsible to make the integration. The final customer receive the technology, receive the product final, okay, and our partner is the made the integration and offer of the final mm -hmm. customer the capacitation and training necessary for uh, made the integration the capacitation for the ramp of the operator, okay? And after, during the next year, is the offer the technical support, the consumable, the all thing necessary for to have very good spending. That seems like a very smart partnership. Most of the guests I've had on this podcast are printing concrete rather than metal. Um, and there's always a challenge when they, the company's selling a printer, the process of learning to use it, the integration. So to have a partner that's dedicated to the integration of your product, uh, it seems like you're prepared for that. Uh, because it is, it's a, it's a learning experience for a new customer, right? Okay. Uh, the, the additive manufacturing in general is the, the one technology is the, the one challenge in global, not only for media, in, in global. Okay. Because the, the industry, the company, the engineering need to think how is the additive manufacturing can be the very good strategy for manufacture the parts. For Meltio, it's similar, okay? Is the, in this moment, is the, the, the 90% of the engineering is ready for thing about is the, hey, I want to manufacture the part with the casting, the forging, the machining, the different technology, traditional uh, uh, technology, okay? In this case, it's very important to learn. Of course, for Meltio, it's very, very important this, we are creating the one red of the different technology center university. In this moment, we had across 35 university and technology center around the world with our technology. And we can create the system where the different employees, employee of the our final customer, our partner, and other person can to capacitate and make the training for to receive the capacitation necessary for to be designer, specialized for te Meltio technology, operator of the machine for Meltio technology, or engineer specialized in Meltio technology. Yeah, very cool. That makes sense to have a whole network, 35 different universities. Uh, and so are they all using the same material? Yes, of course. Uh, the material is, is very, very big. War, okay, uh, the different customer using different material, okay, we, we are ready in this moment for to use is the stainless steel, tool steel, inconel, titanium, uh, different materials, okay, depending on the application that the, our final customer can use, uh, they use different material, okay, in general, our technology is the very, our technology is the welding technology, okay, is the additive manufacturing because we manufacture layer to layer, okay, but our technology is welding, okay, is laser, more yeah. metal wire, okay, and in theory, all material that uh, you can use for welding, you can use for our technology, okay, but in this case, we offer is the, uh, the portfolio of the material, the customer can choose 
several surprises of the material, but melt you offer our uh, material with parameters concrete for this technology, for only for guarantee of uh, health of the our final customer to have the best user experience possible. Yeah, that makes sense. So there's variety of materials available, and are you seeing rapid development in the capabilities of these materials? Are they improving them? Yes, uh, the the material, the the, the meta material uh, for us is the very very uh, challenge, big challenge for for the sector. Okay, in this moment we are open more materials. Okay, a specific material for different application, the of the parameters, and in the next step. Uh, we are sure that in the in the future we will have not only medium in the sector in general we will have new material specific for additive manufacturing for metal wire for additive manufacturing in this moment we are using the welding materials okay perhaps no is the best but is the real today okay the reality today but in the future i am sure that the different industry okay to develop will develop the new material, a specific material for new application. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, is it true that it has a higher density printed than forged or cast alternatives? Thank you very much for this question, because this question is very, very interesting. OK, uh, the Meltio technology uh, had the challenge three years ago. OK, we want to offer the customer one technology with the capacity to solve it, a lot of problem that the other technology of the metal additive manufacturing had in this moment. Okay, one problem is the st internal structure of the quality of the parts. In our in, in our uh, uh, we we our technology, okay, Meltio can offer the density approach is the ninety nine point nine nine eight percent. It's very very wow. very good. Why? Because it's the welding technology. Is the process is very simple, okay? And of course, the casting, the forging is the our competitor real. The competitor of the Meltio no is the other technology of the metal additive manufacturing. No, the the competitor of the potential market for Meltio is the this part that today is the manufacturer with per casting, per forging, and after they need to machining in the tooling machine, okay? And this is the target. And of course, the, our internal structure is very, very, very good. And this is the strong point for the Meltio technology. And does or doesn't require machining with Meltio? You, there's some layer uh, resolution. So the you can see the layers usually. Um, what's the average print that someone is printing on a Meltio printer so that I can understand. Yes, the pain of the different thing. Okay. The surface quality is very important. Okay. When the people speak the power of the additive manufacturing, always they ask you about the surface quality. But in, in the metal part, it's important, of course, because it's the challenge of the of the opportunity the target is the one day is perhaps it's not necessary to uh, post processing the part. Okay, but really today is the a lot of technology need to make the post processing. Okay, a lot of technology, in my opinion, all. Okay, but it's real that the pain of the application that you want to use with the part, okay, is necessary or not. For example, if you want to manufacture the one part for the mining sector, perhaps you don't need to man, uh, post processing the part, or perhaps only you need to post processing one part of the parts. Okay, no complete parts. Okay, mm -hmm. but you can see the, the layer. Yes, but it's now we can work is the thin wall and for us it's very comfortable. One millimeter is very okay. Okay, it's very comfortable for our technology. Okay, and of course we can see the the, the, the layer. The more strong the stronger point for the melt technology is not is the surface quality. It's good. It's very, very good if you compare it with other technology of the metal wire, of course. But no, it's the strong point. Because our strong point is that we want to manufacture the mass production, the industrialization, the metal additive manufacturing for generate thousands of the parts per year with each machine, okay? And after, of course, the customer needs to make the post-processing. But what is the question? Now, when you 
pick up the part from casting or forging, sometimes you need to machine in 40%, 50%, 60%. With our technology, you need to post-processing 3%, 4%, maximum 5% of the parts. This is the more important. Is the efficient way, is the reduce the cost, reduce the timing, reduce the use in the material, and this is very, very, very important. Yeah, huge waste reduction as opposed to a CNC, which might start with a huge block of metal and uh, get rid of a ton of it and just be left with metal shavings. Uh, so what did you study in university to uh, prepare you for this? <coughs> yes, I, I, I uh, learned is the uh, law. Is the, I am attorney, okay, an economist. Okay, and I had the experience, the 15 year of the experience in the additive manufacturing, like businessman. So you you got an education in economics, and then yes. you were in the business side of additive manufacturing. And did you start in metal additive manufacturing, or maybe plastics, other types of? Uh, what was the material? Uh, you yes, I, 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 okay. Uh, with Innova in the 2007, we start the activity with the additive manufacturing. Okay, and we are the reseller, exclusivity reseller for 3D system and thick, thick corporation in a south of the Europe. Okay, after we start the activity and is the market is changing in the, the first year only they are, uh, there were in the, in the market four, five, six big companies, 3D system, Stratasys, uh, Object, uh, Thick Corporation. And after is the create, is the more company, okay, uh, with the finalization, the pattern of the, this technology. And after in the 2019, uh, uh, we create the Meltio. Mm -hmm. Wow, 2007, that's like right during the dot-com bubble, right? Or no, that was earlier. That was uh, right before the real estate crash. Dot-com was like 2000. So the first type of additive manufacturing you were working with uh, was it PLA or ABS plastic or different mm -hmm. type of? Yes, in, in this moment, I remember is the first step in this uh, market. Uh, in, in, the, in the first step in this uh, is the with uh, with C corporation. C corporation is the powder, okay, and color. It's very good technology for the construction, for the manufacture, the market, for the building, for the construction, um, in the dental. After is the next step is the plastic, ABA, PLA, okay, resign uh, for jet relief, for dental, for different industry, okay. Of course, 3D system uh, had uh, metal technology, but the metal technology is very complicated. Only is the several university technology center is the buy this uh, boat, this machine, okay. And uh, I remember is the API for the employee with the lot protection is very careful, it's incredible, okay? And for us, we we need to offer the metal additive manufacturing because the same customer as to us, but really no, is the very good business because they are not a lot potential market for the limitation of the technology. Do you get many people asking how it can be implemented on a construction site? For real estate okay uh, yes in the building they are okay the, the 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 construction sector is very very big okay because they are different supplier for different um, small thing okay and of course if you think about what thing they uh, they are in one house okay of course they are a lot thing that you can manufacture with the technology, with the metal additive manufacturing or, or melt your technology, okay? Um, but really, is the, uh, the, the construction, I think, is the very good in the future, will be very interesting sector for the metal additive manufacturing, is the construction need to be, is the very strong transformation of the digitalization process, okay? Because in in our experience, okay, the construction here in Europe is very traditional, it's very artisanal, manual, okay, and now a lot of company of the construction have the interest in this technology because they are thinking how they can use this for manufacture different parts, okay, 
but of course we have the, the different customer not directly for the construction but yes for the supplier for the construction yeah it seems like it would make sense and there would be lots of synergies there because i know there's over 100 companies with 3d printers for construction around the world uh and they're they have the same skills it's the same uh xyz axis similar g code files to operate the uh physical location of the printer so if they have already trained their people to operate these systems it would seemingly be easier for them to learn uh a system like yours and implement it but what would what would the best things to use it for be do you think yes of course uh, uh, normally is the construction is similar system to us for example is the our customer want to use is the robot system we melt you okay it's very similar because sometimes is the uh, the construction technology is with robot okay or very similar of the robot system okay and <clears throat> it's different because the material for construction for real estate is different of the metal okay and of course yes, the people yes the people need to know a little about <clears throat> about the the metal okay but in theory is very similar because it's the robot and I, will, I, I can say you, if, for example, we share one several uh, supplier for the software for robot, for example, is the robot software company, is the normally for th uh, additive manufacturing, had the different uh, business line. One business line is the real estate, the second is the plastic, and the third is the meta. Hmm. How does Inconel do with conducting electricity? Or are there other metals you can print that conduct electricity well? <clears throat> yeah, the, the electricity is, is very important. Uh, uh, very important. Okay, we we create we have the one laser. Okay, and the laser we con driving anti is the overhead. Okay, uh, and in overhead we can using is the with is the optical system we can have is the one mail point with the six laser okay only one mail point okay and we drive the the energy for this point okay and of course for us is very very efficient system okay if you for example uh, comparative with the other system we had is very efficient okay we, we can say that meltio is the green technology if you compare it with other technology, and if you compare it for the casting, forging, of course, okay, is the, I think, is the, in this moment, the world is changing, okay, uh, Europe, United States, a lot of countries uh, had uh, put on the table in the last month, in the last year, a lot of resource for reindustrialization of the country, okay, and I think that is the, uh, had the new technology, green technology, and efficient technology is very, very important for to create the factory of the future. And respect of the, the material is the conductivity. For example, Inconel is our material. We can use uh, Inconel material. Okay. Uh, yes, of course, is the one material that a lot of customer, uh, our customer use it normally. Yeah, I was just considering every house needs insulation. And so if someone wants to automate the uh, complete construction of a home you need in the walls you need electricity in the walls so if you can have a machine whether it be printing metal or i don't know if that would make sense whether you'd want to print the metal or you'd want to just deposit some kind of wire um but it's hard to imagine there's so much possibility in the future with technologies like yours okay perhaps uh, okay the, the real estate is the one system in my opinion, this is my opinion, not Melty official opinion. Okay, it's my opinion from yeah. But the real estate sector is the in the next month, in the next year, will have very, very strong change. Sure. Why? I think it's the grapheno materials, is the possibility to create the different material inside. Is the intelligent, smart thing, sensory, okay, and a lot of things. And in the future the house need to be efficient, okay? And you, you say is the not only the electricity, it's possible the electricity, the sensi, the sensi, the, the, the sensor for to detecting a lot of things, okay? And I know several projects in the world, 
that they are using the additive manufacturing like the tool for the pell of the new technology for the real estate. Uh, I don't know how long, okay, or how many time, how much time we uh, they need for to develop this, but sure, in the next year, uh, the real estate chain for it because is the world is changing, okay, the world is changing is is clear. Yeah, I agree. The only question is how long it will take. Hopefully, it's uh, I don't always hope it's fast, but uh, what's the thing that Meltio needs the most right now to grow and expand your operation? I, I don't listen to you. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, sure. So what's, if you could boil it down to one thing, I know it's, I'm sure it's very complex and a lot of, it's almost an impossible question, but what's the one thing Meltio needs the most right now to grow? Is it, uh, you want to hire more people that do modeling or new material innovations or uh, <clears throat> new markets? I don't know. Yes. <clears throat> it's a good question because in this moment we are preparing, preparing the, the budget for 2023 and the strategic plan for the next five years. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, for Meltio, in this moment, Meltio uh, had a process the 82, 85 employees. Okay. In, wow. in the last year, we are growing a lot, okay? Uh, in this, in the, we created the company in 2019, in September, three months after we uh, is the start the COVID situation, okay? We are mm -hmm. COVID company because the first two years of the history that the company was uh, with COVID, okay? It's not possible exhibition, not possible travel, it's, it's crazy situation. But <clears throat> our challenge in the next month, in the next year, uh, we are working a lot for to develop the new level of the technology, okay, for no, not only the new product, of course, is the, the new uh, level of the technology, a small detail that we can uh, help for to develop the technology, okay, to develop the user experience for the final customer. And of course, for it ne it's necessary to hire more people, okay, uh, we think that we can uh, had a process of the 100, 100 115 employees in the final the, the next year, okay? And in parallel, I, I have the target. Uh, for us, in the 2025, for us, uh, we would like to be is the one technology present in a, a lot factory with the mass production, production every day, metal parts for final customer, okay? This is the over challenge. We want to write the, 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 the page in the boot on the industrial boot. Is the one new technology is the changing different process is the how is the industrial manufacturing metal part. Okay. In the last 48 years is the lot company using traditional method. Okay. And we are sure that the Meltio can offer is the good opportunity to change and improve this process. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's great to hear that you're focusing on expanding from 85 to 115 employees. I know, uh, like Twitter's doing layoffs and stuff. A lot of big companies are contracting, but you're growing. So that's good. Uh, and I'm wondering, you, you mentioned a factory to produce uh, metal parts all the time. <clears throat> are you doing that right now? So I, you're selling the, the print engine. Are you also printing parts on demand? Yes, uh, we we are the manufacturer of the machine, of the technology. Mm -hmm. Never, never we want to compete with our customer. Our customer can be final customer or can be is the one partner because the partner wants to make the business with our technology in the offer the service of the final customer. Never melt you want to compete with our co potential customer, okay? For quality, for value. But yeah, it makes sense. of course, of course, uh, we understand that Meltio is the new technology. And a lot of time is the customer want to prove the technology before they take the decision by the machine, okay? And of course, we manufacture yeah. the part for them. It's the base part. But not because we want to sell the service, only because we help of the offer of the customer. is the opportunity to prove the technology before they take the decision the both, okay? And in parallel, we have the one red, 
of the Serbi Bureau is the partner in different country is that they made the business is the offer of the customer, the final customer, the service. For us, it's very important because sometimes a lot of customers prefer in the first step, okay, using the technology light service and not necessary to buy. Or perhaps the customer, if the policy the customer is not to buy the, the, the machine, for us, it's perfect. They can use the service bureau or perhaps the customer had not the, 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 the demand necessary for to buy the, the machine and they can use the service of the one partner. Mm -hmm. Thanks, that was a good explanation. So after the, your customers buy your printer, is there any kind of network or community for them uh, or benefit where they collaborate or uh, communicate? Or do you ever send them projects if somebody has a request? Uh, or are they mostly independent after they buy the product? I don't understand the question. Jared, please, can you repeat? Um, so you have these customers that have bought their printer, their engine for the printer, and then you have the other partner that helps them with the integration. Uh, and after that, do the customers communicate with each other? Do they have a, is there a group? Do they, do you have like webinars and stuff or keep up with them or? Uh, yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, for, for us, is the customer is is, is very important. Is the communication between is the our system and the customer. Okay, we have the one very very strong strategy for the service service the technical support. Okay, including is the communication with the machine. Sometimes the customer had the limitation the access accessibility of the uh, the connection with the machine, but a lot of time. Okay, it's very efficient. Is the our team had the communication directly, not only with our partner, of course. Two, we our uh, is the uh, is, is we had is the communication with the final customer, and we can help in the process. We can help for the technical support, or we can help for identifying the best material, develop the new uh, parameters for new material, and or help only for identifying what is the best strategy for manufacture one part concrete. Is the learning. This new technology for new application, we know that the education of the market, the education, both, because for Meltio too, is very important to learn what need each market, vertical mer market, okay? And we want to listen to the customer, we want to listen to the market, and we want to make the maximum effort for one target is our market is say to us. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense because the market is even so unexplored already. There's uh, so much potential for new products with your technology that it enables. The the best markets may be yet to be discovered. Uh, but the uh, I think I've seen one of your systems in Tennessee. It was operating... It was in a room by itself. No people were in the room. And then there was glass with a special protective film so that you could see the weld. And uh, is that how the printers usually operate? Is Do you need somebody watching the whole time? Can you do lights out operation? Yes, it's, it's important for us is that uh, when we uh, made the... the, the the installation of the machine or the, the how we can uh, generate the, the capacity to the our technology can to incorporate the, in the different industry. Okay, identify the application. Okay, and of course, uh, the, the application, okay, for different sector, we have the different gate application. For example, the manufacture the different mold, the mining, the petrol, oil and lead, uh, automotive, aerospace, we had, for example, the, the sample of the Navy is the good example the how our customer can to applicate our technology. Mm -hmm. Are there examples of lights out operations, like without a person present? Okay, the, the, the situation in this moment, we have in this moment approach is the uh, around of the uh, 200 customers with the machine installed. But the problem is that we had very, very big company, big, big company, and they are in the confidential, 
okay, uh, okay, for the Navy, for example, is the very good news because they uh, made the, the, the pre-release uh, speed above uh, of the Meltio technology together with Philly in the Hass machine. Okay, but I can say you is the for us, for example, is very, very important is the automotive. For example, the hot stamping, the manufacture the mall uh, is very, very, very important. Okay, for us, it's very important. The aeronautic, we had the very important project with very big construction, aeronautic construction, is the medical prothesis, is the very similar thing. We had the very, very present in the energy sector, uh, the nuclear sector, defense. Okay, we had several applications, but always we had the similar thing, okay, situation, sorry. In this moment, we are developed the applicability or we are identified together with the customer, our customer, what is the more interesting application for its vertical sector. In this process, the customer learn, we learn, Okay, and of course, the, the customer have the, the, the advantage in front of the rest of the competitor that they had is the, the a lot know-how before that the other potential competitor respect one technology that can be, or we are sure, that chain will change how they manufacture metal part. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to get started with their own system, let's say they have the robotic arm already, what does it cost to retrofit that to print uh, metal? It's wire arc additive manufacturing, correct? Yes. Is the approach, is the, the, the cost of the melt your technologies? Uh, okay, o our technology is not the wire arc, okay? Our technology is laser, but our laser. cost in this moment, Laser, laser, because the and difference is very. Lasers, you said. Yes, multi laser. Why? It's very important the difference, Jared. Why? The why are you have not the control, or it's very difficult to have the control. Is the where you put the energy. With the laser, mm -hmm. you can choose where you can put the laser, the, the energy. Okay, and the, this is the very very important difference. to in the internal structure of the part, and really our technology is the new technology is the multi-laser, okay, and no wire. What is the cost of the our system? Approach is the our system had in, in euro, to, in, in dollar, sorry, is the approach is the 116, 17, uh, thousand dollar, okay? Is the approach, is the incorporate, is the system, the laser, all solution complete. If you wow. have the robot, this is the cost. Why, why Meltio put this, Technology, new technology, disruptive technology is a very, very good price. Very easy. Our business, our strategy is volume. We don't want to have the one customer only for using our technology for manufacture prototype or, very, or one part each two weeks. No. We would like is the our customer using our technology for manufacture a lot part per day. And in this real, our customers don't want to buy one machine. They want to buy hundreds, thousands of the union of the our machine. The same of the tooling machine, the CNC, for example. Okay, but it's very important. Is the return of the investment need to be easy. Because if not, the industrial, the factory, never can to use our technology like one mass production technology. Yeah, that's way more cost uh, friendly than I was expecting it's even cheaper than a lot of the printer heads for concrete, uh, which should be much simpler. They don't have much power need. They don't have big expensive lasers. They're not heating up to crazy temperatures. Uh, so it, it's amazing you're able to hit that price point. And it seems like uh, it would increase the amount of people using the technology, which would increase the usefulness of it as more people learn how to design for it and create new objects they can print with it. Uh, do you have a library of objects for your customers? <clears throat> Thank you for, uh, uh, for, for your words, okay, about the price. The price is very good only because the technology of our business not is the margin, is the volume, okay? We don't want to win a lot of money with one customer, no. We want to, to be the partner of the, our customer to develop a lot of production. Okay, 
Yes, uh, of course. Uh, we had the uh, very strong strategy for the software. For me, the bibliotheque is the very, very important for software. Okay, is the software for the user experience for the if they is more important than the non necessary is the uh, to have high level of the operator for the technology very important because if not with the customer our customer the factory had the problem okay mm -hmm. and the software is very very important we have not the library for a specific part because each customer want to manufacture their part but we have the very tool in our software for the robot for the hybrid system with cnc or the printer with f for fitting okay we have the software with different strategy for manufacture the part depending on the geometry depending on the material depend is the more important the timing the cost the internal structure okay and the customer learn how can choose what is the best strategy possible for each geometry for each part mm -hmm. And do they all use the same slicer or do they use custom slicers? Yes, in this moment, our help uh, 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 using uh, now, in the last two weeks, we, we uh, made the kickoff of the Melty Orifon. Melty Orifon is the new software for our printer, M450. Mm -hmm. Okay, is the one slicer specific for our technology. Okay, for the M450, is the one printer with three assets. Okay, in parallel, in the next, I would like to say you is the one news, okay, is that in, in the next uh, three, four weeks, we want to make the kickoff of the our software for robot, okay, and we incorporate is the uh, multi robot software, okay, for guarantee the user experience on the our customer. You say before, hey, Angel, it's very, very cheap or it's very competitive, the price. Yes. But the, the philosophy of the Meltio, the politics of the Meltio, is the eliminate the barrier, solve it, jumping the barrier, okay? And the, jump, the, the software is the one problem. Because until today, they are not a lost solution of the software, for example, for robot, for metal additive manufacturing. And mm -hmm. Meltio had two options. Wait, is the market develop this, or to help the manufacturer of the, the, the software company manufacturer to help to them to develop the one solution specific for me. This is our strategy. We had the open, uh, open platform and we had nine, ten different software manufacturer. Is the, is the certificate for Meltio. We can certificate for our customer that this, so, this software is ready for using with Meltio. And we will have the one software, okay, the white label, only for guarantee the user experience for our customer. Very nice. So you'll white label the software to your customers and they can uh, use your slicer. Will, if somebody has a printer from another company, would you white label the software to them or no, you don't want to do that? Okay. Uh, in this moment, uh, in, in this moment, only we have this technology with the multi laser. Okay. In the future, is the, in the market of the DED, is the, is the uh, ground. We, we are sure this, okay. Of course, we are open to collaborate with other brands, with other manufacturers of the machine, okay. We identify is the world is changing, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry because I repeat other time, but in, in, in this world, we need to collaborate. For us, is the potential competitor no is problem, it's the opportunity. We want to collaborate. Is the, the potential market is very, very big. The problem now, Today, no, is the one potential competitor. The problem is the solve the limitation and the open the market because they are potential customers for a lot of so, players on the, on, on the table, okay? And of course, we are open to collaborate with, with other company, with other colleagues that we want to grow together. Are there any conferences on metal printing or additive manufacturing that... Uh you like in particular, like your favorite conferences? For me, it's very, very, uh, I had a special love, okay, to AMAG in the United States, okay, and Fornet in Frankfurt. It's my two preferred exhibition, event, congress, 
if somebody is like a young person and wants to get involved, wants to have a career in metal printing, what should they learn? What should they study? Okay. In my opinion, uh, I can, uh, of course, is the engineering, the mechanical engineering, the engineering in general. Okay. And uh, the high school for us is very interesting too, is the, uh, the high school for uh, capacitation for work profession. In here in Spain, in Europe, they are is the, the, the opportunity to uh, go to the, the high school for the machining, for the welding, and electronic, robotic. This is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting for us. Or one person is the hub, is the, uh, the skill uh, above of the electronic, the mechanical, can learn. We are uh, made a very, very big effort for offer of the, the, the people. Is the one technology easy for the use? So you're saying that somebody doesn't necessarily need a university degree to get involved if they have welding experience or are they're mechanically inclined? Uh, there's work for them in this industry. Yeah. Of course, the university our way, the university can to offer to you is the, the better skills. Okay, is the, the university offer is the more uh, know how in general. Okay, but it's not mandatory only university student. Is the university student can be the one opportunity, very good. Okay, but the high school too. Mm -hmm. So to circle back to the uh, growth at your company, expanding from 85 employees to 115, what positions are you hiring for? Okay, uh, in this moment, we had a process is the uh, several in the, in the last day we are incorporating the people for the channel in United States, for example, the sales channel. Uh, we incorporate people in the marketing. We have the open uh, position for the human resource, for engineering, leisure, leisure department. Mm -hmm. We have the open uh, opportunity uh, for uh, mechanical engineer. We have the open opportunity for application department for the develop of the materials, okay, in our website, in meltio3d.com, uh, we can find <clears throat> one link with the, our carrier. In the carrier, the people can choose, choose or can, can find is the open, the position open in this moment. On your website, and that's good because uh, a lot of my audience, more than 50% of my audience is American. So if you're expanding your American operations, looking for some new American employees, hopefully some of them are listening and they reach out to you. Uh, and so the operations in America, will you be producing? You're just, you need marketing and office operations in America. The manufacturing happens in Spain. In, in this moment, uh, yes, we have the, the, in this moment, we are uh, looking for, is the people for United States, for technical support, for example, I, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Uh, I, I don't remember very well, but we had is the several position open for United States. Okay, United States is the 40% of the this market in the world. Okay, United States is very important market. Very, very important market. Okay, and in, the, in, in this moment, we have very strong channel with the partner. Okay, Philly, Corp <clears throat> Philly Corporation, Aditeth, Acufacture, Impact System, uh, CNC Engineering. Uh, we have the several uh, reseller, okay, partner in the United States. But of course, if we want to offer the best service possible of the our partner and our final customer, okay, we need to have this the present in the United States. And we want to make the maximum effort. The manufacturer, the, the factory is in, in, in Spain, okay, but only the, when the customer buy the machine is the first step because the more important for us is the porcelain service, technical support, repair part, consumable, identify how we can help you then is the more important for it. It's very important for us, independent of where we manufacture the, the machine, is we need to have is the team ready in each country for guarantee the user experience of the our customer and partner. Yeah, that's a priority for sure. And have you done business in China at all? No, I no. don't go. No, 
China for us is no. Uh, I had a, a little experience in China, but for us, China no is the more interesting. Okay, for us, no is very, very interesting uh, country for two things. One thing is the protection. Okay, we have not is the feeling that we can go to is the China with the, 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 the maximum protection above the, our IP, the first. And the second is the, in this moment, is the war is very big, okay? And we need to choose. And we identify is the United States, uh, Germany, Italy, Europe, in general, okay? They, they are a lot of countries, very, very interesting. It's not necessary to go to China in this moment. Of course, it's the COVID situation. is don't help for the one new company won't go to China market or Chinese markets. Yeah, I know there have been some 3D printed construction companies for concrete that have felt burned by China business and they uh, it wasn't always smooth sailing. So maybe that's a maybe there's some benefits there, but you never know. It's a big, complicated world out there. Yes, for example, uh, uh, of course, I had the experience, personally, I had the experience in China, okay, China is very big uh, market, okay, and the potential market is very big, and uh, in this moment, uh, with the COVID situation, it's very difficult to develop the business in China, okay, it's very difficult to travel to China, uh, a lot of restriction, and uh, we are new company, new technology, education. And in China, the handwork is not very, very expensive. Okay. And okay. We thought that is China not our priority. I don't know in the future will be the priority for us. But in this moment, our priority is United States, Mexico, Italy, Germany, European Union, Japan, Australia, Korea. They are other countries more interesting in this moment. Yeah, and you have a variety of clients, uh, private market companies, universities, uh, some government projects you mentioned. Uh, the, I mean, you mentioned almost every industry, biomedical, aerospace, yeah. nuclear, uh, even dental with the plastic printing. There's so many different applications, um, so many different places. To go, if you had to pick one between the the hardware, the software, or the materials, which one needs the most improvement? What do you need, sorry? So between the hardware, the, the robot machine, uh, the software, which could be the slicer or the design software, or the material. Yes. It's the miss. It's the miss. Uh, Okay, we are proud about the, our technology and team, but we know that we can improve and we know how we can improve. But the, the solution, the, the perfect solution, don't exist. Our way we can improve, okay? And we have in this moment the capacity that the, uh, if we want to improve the technology, we need to improve all software, materials, and uh, hardware, okay? The hardware is, is okay. The software we are working a lot, and above the material, no, is the problem the material. Is the look for what is the, the, the material appropriate for its application with the best software, what, what is the power uh, appropriate for its uh, vertical sector. Okay, and now we need time. We need time, and we need to work with our customer because listening listen of the our customer, we can identify, we can improve better and faster but we are very happy because the technology now is very 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 good our experience okay is the only three years but the last year for example we have the green number okay in the our company it's not normal it's the one technology company in the third years had the green number without investor we have yeah, not great. investor we we don't want to have the investor in this moment it's no is our target perhaps in the future but in this moment we want is the ground, is the organic ground, is difficult, is strong, is is no easy, okay, but it's very, very funny, it's very, very uh, exciting for all things, is they have the capacity to develop the business without money of the third parts. 
Yeah, I think the best businesses run like that. They're lean, mean, and they're innovative machines that uh, you can't compare everything. It's almost uh, it's almost overused to compare everything to Elon Musk, but it seems like the vision is like keep it lean. You don't want too many parts. Keep it as efficient as possible. Uh, and it seems sounds like that's how you're running your operation, which is great. Yes. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to have this call today. You're one of the bigger companies that I've uh, had on the podcast. A lot of times my guests are very small startups that are just getting started like six months ago or a year ago. So it's cool to see a more mature company at 85 employees uh, taking the time to explain with patience the laser mm-hmm. technology uh, of your of your printer because I really haven't to come across it before. So I have a very novice perspective uh, so, yeah, thank you for taking the time to explain it to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you to you, Yare. Thank you for getting the opportunity to participate in your, in your program. Okay. And we, our facility, our house is open for you. When you want to replicate the, the interview in the next month, only you need to say to us. Thank you very much for your time. And awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take you up on that. I'll be uh, in Europe maybe in the summer of 2023 or 24, and uh, I'll reach out. Thanks again. Later on. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.